just gotta learn to chill. Period. Let's talk. Okay, salty days. Okay, let's not let's not be salty, y'all. You follow Jesus. You gonna get persecuted one day. You gonna get judged. You gonna be talked to nasty one day. Something gonna happen. Somebody gonna hurt your feelings, right? And you gonna wanna. You mean? But don't do it. Don't do it, girl. But okay. when the very hairs of your head are outnumbered, fear not. God knows how many hairs we got on our head. So holding you know, your tongue is really crucial. So crucial, y'all. You can't. You can't do that. You pray, you pray about it. Pray about of it. us. We get stepped on. We get mistreated. It happens we to the best of us. It happens to the Christian of us. Yes. Pray. pray. Anyway, cause me to understand where I made a mistake. Help me to understand what I did wrong, but teach me, right? It says to hold my tongue. So if you did do something wrong, I'm just saying, you know, pray for understanding. Pray for Verse 25 says, How forcible are right words, but what doth your arguing reprove? I know arguing some... solves nothing. Arguing reprove. What does it prove? What do you get out of nothing? Arguing is not good. It does nothing for nobody never. So don't do it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. Don't waste your day. You know what? Just don't do it. Don't do it. It ain't fun. If you hurt my feelings, I'm going to hurt yours. Oh, you saying this about me? What about you? What about you? What about you? We want to do that, right? For what, though? For what, though? Because it does nothing. Let's not do that, sis. Just try it. Try it out. You don't see how much easier life will be. I'm trying it out. I'm trying it out. I'm trying it out. Okay. Next, um, Proverbs 26 4, girl. If you get all cray cray with somebody and you get all retaliate, if you retaliate and you use harsh words and you get down. The way they get down and you don't like it, but you stoop to their level. Basically, you become their level. You get on their level, now you on their level. Don't get on their level, and then you ain't going to be on their level. So if they acting a fool, and then you start acting a fool, and checking that fool, or fool loud, girl, guy, whatever, you become a fool too. Because they don't solve nothing. What does the Bible say? Arguing don't solve nothing. What does it say? It's better to keep your mouth sealed and not use harsh words. We are not supposed to speak evil. We are not supposed to be harsh. We are not supposed to be cruel. We are not supposed to be mean. It's best to avoid people, honestly, that be really mean and aggressive. Right. And hard. But when it happens, you're not supposed to get on their level. Okay. Look. Look, sis. Look, girl. Don't stoop to that level. Just don't do it. About to argue or you about to throw down and be like, this girl, remember me, sis. And be like, you know like what? I said, one thing to learn, but when you really act upon it, when you, you know, following these rules, things start shifting. Things start changing, right? Don't get on that level with nobody right. by acting like that. You go make him happy. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. If we follow his rules, he gonna be happy, right? So this one of his rules. We <laughs> being a little nasty. It's okay, girl. Let it... Verse number eight. Ooh, I told y'all God knows how many tears you cry, sis. Oh. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. bottle. Are they not in thy book? So... He knows what's up. He knows, sis. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. And he has called us by our name. And it says the very last verse. Called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. And if God is for us, 
who can be against us, right? If you are for God, who can be against you, right? If God is with you, who can be against you, right? If the Holy Spirit is within you, right? Who can really hurt you? Ain't no witch, ain't no, ain't nobody can come and hurt you. you. Gotta have no fear, baby girl. Have no fear, right? Isaiah forty three verse five. Fear not, for fear not, for I am with thee. Who is with thee? God is with thee. And he knew us before we were even born. Okay, it says, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Okay, and I already guess stated, it says, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered, right? Which means God knows every little thing about you. Every little thing, right? Because he is our creator. Every little thing he sees, every little thing he knows, he knows our heart. He knows our pain. We just got to be strong, right? And we always got to check ourselves. And we always got to try our hardest. We're not always going to be right. Sometimes we'll sleep. <sighs> Y'all, stay positive. Don't let yourself be down for too long because it's normal to cry. It's normal to get a little bit down. But don't let that take over you. You lead by example. Your actions, not the cross you wear, that don't show that you follow Jesus, that you righteous, that you a Christian. What shows you a Christian is your actions, right? Do you repent after you mess up, right? Do you walk in love? Do you try to always correct, correct yourself, yourself, okay? What a scripture that says, no weapon formed, weapon against, formed against me shall prosper. Does that mean that no weapon will be formed? Girl. No, girl. Weapons is going to be formed. And if you a believer, best believe it's going to be formed. Best believe you're going to go through it. Best believe you're getting persecuted. Best believe you're going to get made fun of. Best believe you're going to get talked down to. Best believe you're going to get clowned. Best believe you ain't, you're going to be misunderstood. Best believe, okay? Weapons is going to be formed against you. But... They shall not prosper, right? Because if you are for God, if you are with God, if God is with you, who can be against you, right? But that don't mean we got it easy. That don't mean we're not going to go through nothing. That don't mean it's going to be easy, okay? Just letting you know, I'm making this up. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household kind of like enemies your enemies will be at your own crib you're gonna have them issues with the peoples in your own household they're gonna be against you not for you they're gonna throw stones at you they're gonna misunderstand you you a hard time you but you gonna you're gonna deal with things okay and it's okay Cause what do we learn today? Cause what do we learn today, y'all? We pray about things, right? We get persecuted. We get throw stones thrown at us. It's cool. We don't need to throw them back. We don't need to do that. Cause why? God handles that part. That part. God handles it, right? He takes care of us. He protects us. We're His children. So all we gotta do for His help. Video. But, I was going to make a whole other video, but like I was coming up on these scriptures and dealing with some real life stuff. I want to bring some light to somebody who might be experiencing or going through a little bit of darkness. You feel me? Because look, we all go through it. People get caught up watching all these YouTubers, watching all social media, all this stuff. They be seeing people in their life, you know, and it's like people only show you that good side. People only show you what they want to show you, okay? They don't show you what they really dealing with. I was inspired to make this, and I hope it helps a sister out. If you going through it, you know what I'm saying? I hope these scriptures helped you out. If you're not going through it, girl, don't think you ain't ever going to because... Stay strong. Um, this channel is for girls. I'm not trying to school or teach no man. Yeah. 
okay i know you know this is for my sisters in christ for those that are learning wanting to learn scriptures i'm all about god i'm all about jesus if that's what you're about what i'm about